Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Token Boast interview. Today we have invited Mr. Liu, the CEO and co-founder of Libra Credit. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me here. Okay. So first, could you introduce yourself and a little bit about Libra Credit? Sure. Um, myself, like, uh, has been working in the blockchain and the fintech space for the last probably like 10 to 15 years, and I spent like uh, actually 10 years in Silicon Valley, mm -hmm. and uh, basically working for like a financial technology related company. Uh, the first one is like uh, VeriSign, uh, which is specialized in digital certificate, mm -hmm. like information security, uh, domain registration, and also they have a payment division. So I was a founding member of the payment division. Um, we built up the first generation of U.S. Uh, online gateway, like for credit card processes. Mm -hmm. And so at one point we have signed up probably like 200,000 merchant base mm -hmm. and process like probably 10% of U.S. e-commerce volume. Oh, yeah. And that's when actually like a PayPal stepped in and mm -hmm. acquired the whole like a payment division from Verisign. Oh, wow. So I, I become like a part of like the, the PayPal family <laughs> and then starting to be responsible for PayPal's like a global banking platform. I think that experience had a huge um, impact on my future career. Uh, so, the, uh, because PayPal is a global company, he has presence in over like uh, 100 like, countries and regions. And uh, so, for the PayPal digital wallet, so it's very important for it to support like all the different like funds into the wallet mm -hmm. and the funds like out of the wallet, right? During like the merchant transactions. So, yes, my job is actually um, to me and my team, like we have to work with like all the banks and the financial institutions globally. Uh, mm -hmm. to make sure they integrate with our PayPal banking platform, right, mm -hmm. to support that. Uh, so along the way, we worked with like uh, ACH system in the US, uh, BAX uh, in UK, and also like uh, uh, Barclays Bank, like on UK fast payments. Um, and also like in Germany, we worked on like ELV and the ETF. Mm -hmm. And in Asia, like uh, we had opportunity to work with like a lot of uh, different like uh, card association, including like uh, China Union Pay. Mm -hmm. And because that's uh, uh, probably one of the largest uh, card issuers. And uh, so I actually have to relocate it back to Shanghai to mm -hmm. uh, work with China Union Pay to make sure like uh, uh, billions of like uh, debit card and credit card issued by then. Now all the China uh, Union Pay like card, ho uh, card holders, uh, they can shop on all those PayPal powered merchants globally by just using like a China Union Pay cards. Mm -hmm. So which is a huge like user experience improvement for the whole like Chinese community. In year 2010, PayPal bought a company in the U.S. called Bill Me Later. Mm -hmm. It's the uh, largest credit payment company in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So people just need to provide like a social security number and data birth during the checkout flow, and the product will give them a line of credits. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's kind of like a replacement for physical credit cards. Yes. Yeah, so okay. So PayPal has spent $1 billion for their company, and the founder of their company, like uh, Gary Marino, become like the head of like the financial services, mm -hmm. so learn a lot from like uh, those guys. And so when I started my own fintech uh, startup, I actually did the same thing, like uh, pay now, pay later is also a credit product. And now like uh, what we decided to do is uh, we need to bridge the crypto asset and traditional financial institutions. Mm -hmm. uh, because like um, uh, we always feel like uh, uh, there are lots of things happened in the crypto space. And, but still the financial institutions are very skeptical about yes. what's going on here. Indeed. And they don't know what is the best way to actually uh, become like a, a player in this space. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think with our team's background, like uh, we, we as a team actually uh, build the global banking partnership for PayPal for internet. Mm -hmm. But now we feel like now it's the right timing to build out again the global banking partnership around blockchain oh, for okay. Libra Credit. And so I think like basically what we are going to do is um, anybody from the crypto community who holds like crypto assets, mm -hmm. you can use that as a credit. Mm -hmm. and you apply for a loan or apply for a credit card from us. Mm -hmm. And then the bank will provide like, actually the liquidity to make this happen. So, mm -hmm. And now I think that, that that's going to be something like really make it to a next level of scalability so in terms of like funding source. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Libra Credit, does it have any special algorithm or measures to counteract against the volatility of crypto assets? Yeah, very good question. Right? I think the one big concern uh, financial institution has is also like, okay, uh, the swing of their uh, like, uh, crypto asset price yes. like on the daily basis, right? So uh, what we are going to do is uh, we, we actually leverage some of the stable coin mechanism. Mm -hmm. And also like uh, uh, what we are going to do is uh, uh, the collateralized like uh, crypto asset will be over collateralized in the sense if you have $10,000 worth of Bitcoin today, right? And if you deposit it into our system and uh, you can borrow out of it, it's probably like 50%, 60%. Mm -hmm. We don't encourage the user like to borrow it 
like anything more than like 70% because mm -hmm. that's going to, uh, when the price starts to volatile like a little bit, uh, it's possible you will get uh, the margin call to mm -hmm. add like more crypto assets or otherwise part of it will yes. be liquidity, right? So, okay. Mm -hmm. So when you protect against uh, the volatility or hedge against it, uh, that's right. Mm -hmm. how does your token work within your system? I see, okay. So Libra talking itself, um, actually, um, it has been listed on like some of the uh, exchanges already. So the main purpose of this talking is actually utility-wise, mm -hmm. in the sense like it acts as a, uh, people can use it to become our member, mm -hmm. and it can, can use like Libra talking uh, pay for the membership fee, and also like Libra talking you can use it like for the service fee. And uh, uh, we also look at like the number of Libra talking you have, we will give a priority in the sense is what is the uh, credit line you can get? Because the mm -hmm. more Libra token you have, like probably the higher uh, credit line you can potentially enjoy. So, okay. mm -hmm. so for those who, have, who hold a greater amount of Libra coins, they will mm -hmm. be able to get bigger loans. Exactly, and uh, because like, um, uh, like I, I just said, the liquidity is a uh, big challenge in the overall like uh, crypto space, right? When you're mm -hmm. talking about from crypto assets uh, to fiat currency. Um, but by leveraging like Libra token is actually something you can uh, have the liquidity happen and uh, on a much bigger scale. Mm -hmm. So as a fintech related platform, you must have trouble with uh, regulations such as KYC, AML. That's right. Mm -hmm. Do you have any countermeasures to act against regulations? Yes, uh, I think like, um, um, Based on our experience back even in PayPal platform, like we deal with regulators, we deal with like compliance issues probably all over the world. Mm -hmm. And that's why if you look at the Libra Credit team, uh, and we already have our like uh, uh, chief compliance officer like in place, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Francisco, he has extensive knowledge in dealing with like brokerage license, uh, lending related license, and all those things. And we're also working with one of the uh, top four accounting firms mm -hmm. uh, to put in the best practice in terms of, like how to use this like in um, uh, on Libra uh, platform and mm -hmm. come up with like a lending what we call is um, permission the blockchain and which like uh, financial institutions will build around it mm -hmm. and it's actually audited by one of the top four accounting firms. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you have an auditing, auditing system working. Exactly. So we, we have to take into consideration of those things then like uh, the financial institution will be more willing to work with us, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in mm -hmm. Korea, Korea is a big space for crypto asset investors. Maybe That's platforms. right. Uh -huh. Do you have any local developments or partners here? Yeah, we actually work, uh, we already talked like to the top four credit card issuers mm -hmm. like uh, Singham and uh, Hyundai. Kumin, BC cars, mm -hmm. right? So we're very familiar with it. And actually, like uh, 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 one of our like uh, partners will be on board soon. He's already like uh, uh, worked with all those credit card issues before with his pin, uh, fintech background. So we're looking forward to like in the future is like uh, anyone from the uh, Korean crypto community, mm -hmm. um, particularly like the younger generation who is going to uh, have a credit card pretty soon. Uh, they are going to have like uh, a Libra credit co-branded crypto assets as correct to the credit cards, okay. Mm -hmm. So thank you for your time. Yeah. Finishing up our interview, do you have any last comments for our audience? Oh, like I said, I, uh, it's my second time in Korea, uh, like uh, attending like blockchain related conference. And I just love this uh, community, uh, mm -hmm. the excitement and the activity. Uh, I'm looking forward to like uh, come more frequently and also like in the process of building up our own like uh, uh, Korean like Libra credit community. Very excited about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll be looking forward to it from Libra Credit as well. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for your time. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. Mm -hmm. That was Mr. Liu, the CEO and co-founder of Libra Credit.